ukuthize wafa futhi neqala evulela lelo poisa itala bese kuvulwa idokoto lile tuwe kuyena uprikatie uguze aye yena ayo penya bese uyo niga laba ba penya ayo abazmene uguze nabo bazo wazo penya njengoba bakuluma la section 28 no 29 wabo abapenye abazmene thank you mr firstly in paragraph f let's read it again it does sorry, not sorry, say sorry. to understand the law applicable mm -hmm. when we were listening to that tape not the, uh, the the recording there was an attorney apparently representing accused number two on the the fifth the fifth of march is that not so uh, not on the 5th, on the 27th. Is it on the 27th when this attorney said to the magistrate that he has received a complaint, a complaint from his clients? That was the 5th of March. Yeah. The court is right. Yes. That they are being assaulted. Correct. Right? Yeah. Let's play that. Because then the magistrate said, this, who is that, who is that uh, attorney? Nkwane. Right. He told Nkwane to assist his clients to lay a charge. Is that not the evidence, Mr. Ngumezul? That's the evidence. That's it. And if you find or get any problems, the, the commissioner of police must be approached. I think the commissioner of police must be approached so that a, a, a formal complaint can be laid. Is that not so, sir? That's the evidence. When I was listening, now has that been done? Mr. Msololo, you can, or oh, you, but Mr. Who has that been done? My Lord, may I just, just yeah. get clarity from okay. what my colleague is asking? We'll come to the IP. Yes. I'm talking about she was what happened in court. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that question relates to what happened in relation to accused number one. Before we get into accused number two. Yes. Because the first report that was made to the brigadier in relation to the line of questioning relates to accused number one. At, at Silverton? At Silverton. What was the date? The, the 10th of July. If I'm and mistaken. was that report made in court? The, the report was made in court to the presiding office. What was the date in court that day? The, the 10th of July, if I'm not mistaken. Is that so? No, no, no. <laughs> not in First Loras. I'm referring to... Yes. It, the and that is a complaint the regarding complaint Silverton. Silverton. That's correct. Right, because now Geninda is referring to that. As I understand you, you are referring to that complaint. The one of Silverton, my lord. I'm, I'm referring to the one of Silverton of the 10th mm. of July. Yeah. The accused, all these measures were put into place um, and he was not willing to make a statement. And no registers confirmed that he was assaulted. Okay. Kutige kutuwa kuu uonge la makala lao bewafagi we aguko lao manga lelwa yena aye wazi niselu wenzi stadme esho yuguti yebo ngisha yi wengisha wa ubani nini kuu. Right, I'm sorry to interfere, but for my understanding, how do you lodge a complaint? Is it, <laughs> is it on affidavit or is it just verbal? There's no record of that. My Lord, I think it will be unfair for me to be cross-examined by the court when I'm putting I'm not cross -examining. to the witness. I'm not cross-examining you. I'm just, I just want to understand the law. May I then be given the opportunity to put questions to the witness? No, no. Listen. I want to understand the law. You, you have told, you have given me this. As you say, that is the applicable law. Yes. Lord. And I want to understand because from the record, it appears that the magistrate Avenga intervened to the attorney who was, is that not? My Lord, I'm not referring to that Okay, one. okay, fine, go yes, ahead. Okay. I'm not okay. referring okay. to that one. All right, all right, yes. sorry about that. I'm referring to, to the one that was uh, made in Tembisa court, my Lord. In Tembisa court? Yes, in Tembisa court about Silverton police officers. Okay, fine, yes, on each day, you say it was on the 10th? On the 10th of July. Okay, fine, you can go on. And that complaint, my lord, was made by accused number two okay. in full court. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord, accused number one in Tembisa, not accused number two. <coughs> the the exhibit will clear the, the record, my lord. So there was a complaint, my lord, according to my understanding, which was made in full court about the assault 
and about the police officers in Silverton. And then my next question is, my lord, with that complaint which was reported in a court of law, which was related to you, Brigadier, as the head of the, the unit, what did you do with that complaint? Because this act precisely says the complaint must be referred to the Inspectorate Police Investigative Directorate Directive for further investigation. As a court case, I think my learned friend um, should have also made a copy of the regulations issued in terms of the IP, IP, uh, IPID Act because these regulations must be read in conjunction with the Act. Now, she's reading um, the, the Act in isolation, and if one looks at, uh, I had a quick look at the regulations. For instance, Regulation 2 says, uh, reporting of matters to the uh, investigating directorate a station commander or any member of the South African police or the municipal police service must say within the period mentioned in section 29 1b that my learned friend has quoted of the ex submit a written report yeah. a written report to the directorate regarding any matter listed in section 28 1a that is now the section that my learned colleague is busy with uh, and furthermore, um, Regulation 4B, which is the most important one, says a person who lodges a complaint in terms of sub-regulation must do so in writing yeah. uh, by fax or electronic mail. Mm -hmm. And it says the provisions of sub-regulation 3 uh, uh, will then apply. So in other words, my lord, we say um, it's very dangerous to read the, the act in, in isolation. It must be read in conjunction with the regulation, which makes it clear that a complaint must be in writing as the witness has testified to. Yes, I thought you were proceeding. Thank you. Brigadier, I put it to you that if you had complied with the provisions of this section and independent members of the IPID would have been appointed to approach the accused, obtain the necessary statement, and also to do further investigations. No, but, but that's not correct, my lord. Council knows he was working for the state. You need to have a one, a complaining statement to understand the allegation that has been made. What do I comply with when you can you don't have the existing A1 or any document or even an eyewitness who says I've witnessed such an assault? Uti obrigadio mai pendulu tika kumeli uyazi waiga te esebenze na umbuso kumeli kubene statement esibizwa i A1 we statement le sumundo akala zakona uguti ngisho kunyesi. Okay, I won't argue with you. I'll leave that one for argument. Let's proceed, brigadia. I'm going to hand in my lot with the leave of the court exhibit XX. If I'm not mistaken, it was. If you can give the state one copy and the witness one copy. My lord, I did not prepare the the copy for the cost for the court because we have used this exhibit. It's a it's a statement regarding interview with suspect, my lord. It was marked exhibit XX.
the one that was handed in by Mr. Nisi. Indeed, my lord. Indeed, my lord. Yes. That's why I did not make an additional copy. Mm. Thank you. Brigadier, I just want to refer you to a few paragraphs of this uh, performer. It's by SAPS. It's form number 3M in brackets, small letter M, statement regarding interview with suspects, okay? The reason why I'm referring you to this form is because you had interviews with suspects on different occasions. Do you understand? I do, my lord. Yes, okay. And then, without wasting the court's time, paragraph one, completion of statement, okay? I'll ask you to read it to the court. Paragraph so, one, sub, sub paragraph A, my lord. So it reads as follows, my lord. The station commander must consult with the prosecutor on circumstances in which the prosecutor requires that a warning statement of a suspected of a suspect be obtained in, in of a suspect to be obtained. In every such case, the suspect must be interviewed and this statement must be completed. <coughs> this statement must be completed every time the suspect is interviewed, irrespective of whether the suspect has been arrested or not. Okay, thank you. You, you understand that this form must be completed every time whenever there is an interview, irrespective of whether the suspect has been charged or not. That, that, that's the, the line I wanted to bring it to your attention. Yes, but my Lord Counsel is, is, is leaving something out important. That it said this form refers to that interview as directed by the prosecutor. It's a different scenario when the police, it, there's no way does it refer to interviews of the police. It's very specific. You are directed by the prosecutor to obtain an explanation. And naturally, you communicate the outcome of the, of the, of the suspect in the form of a warning statement to the NPA. And that's what paragraph uh, one says, my Lord. No, it doesn't say so. Let's read paragraph. Oh, sorry, for the interpretation. La mm -hmm. akata kuna upregadire uma abashushi abasolwa imibuzo wamele kube nezinto eguti ziyakwa diswa la uma upregadire pendula uti melu unga kwa uguti la uti wa uma abashushi sayu uguti abamapoisa Manje, Abamanga, Lelo, Imibus, Gusuga, Ungaba Sushi, Abachele, Amapoisa, Wood Babuze, Abo, Abo, Aba, Abamanga, Lelo, Imibus. We've been down this road before when Sergeant Mohani was testifying. I think we even um, quoted authorities and, and, and filed heads on this matter. It was debated. I think it's, it's a matter that can be best left for argument. I don't know how it impinges on a trial within a trial because at this, at this stage, this court is busy, ceased with the exigency of a trial within a trial, which is a compact interlocutory process, which has its bearing as to whether any confession made by any of the accused or a witness, if there is a dispute that it was not freely and voluntarily made without coercion in a person's sane and sober senses, if a prima facie case is made by the prosecutor after having advised the court that he intends using that document which is supposedly or allegedly a confession, then when the state has led that evidence, they accuse themselves, if they so desire, they come with countervailing evidence to rebut the allegations by the state which are laid down by its witnesses. This is what this process is about. It is not about the merits. But if you are saying, this question you're asking relates to proving the admissibility and otherwise. No problem, you go ahead. But I've sent this song to say that 
this process we are in, it's about the admissibility of a confession. Okay. My Lord, I will submit that the line of questioning regarding this form which I have referred the witness to, it's on the circumstances under which those statements were taken. Yeah, fine. It, it contains, my Lord. No, no, you can go ahead. Thank you, my Lord. Let's continue, Brigadier, with paragraph B. Before, my Lord, we go to paragraph B, I wanted to, 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 to bring it to the attention of the court um, that this form that counsel is referred to, it is not a prescribed form. In other words, it's not the only warning. There are no prescribed form in the warning statement. So it's not a golden rule that this is the only way you must do it. Other forms are not, they don't even have this portion. So you have various uh, 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 warning statements, others that are even two or three pages long. So, so this is not the way. That this is not the way that the standing order says, and uh, and it's regulated in the standing orders, my lords, to that effect. Apart from what is not clear, that it is the practice that we go to ask, we go to the form, the umele angnige yona yona yoto, we go to the water, umele we go to umele naganja, we umauguza, umsolwa imibuzo, umbuze ngalenzela. Ikone minye imitetu, eminye miite ukula le engi niwe yona. Aksu guti ile mutetu na mikomo ewa mele ilandelelewe gupenda. Unfortunately, Brigadier, I'm the only one who is putting questions to you. I'm not going to argue with you with your line of questioning. The form I'm referring you to is the form that is prescribed by the SAPS Police Services. And I'm asking you to read paragraph B into the record. Yes, my lord. I'm not actually, just to clarify, I'm not asking question to cancel. I'm simply clarifying for cancel to know that this is not the only form. Yeah, that. can you read so, paragraph B now? Yes, cancel, you can read, give me a chance. Read because it. I need, you know, give me a chance. I need to ask that because I'm assisting the court. That impression must not be given that this is the only form prescribed. I've never asked this. what you are saying. I've never asked Mr. what you are saying. How, how are we going to proceed now? Like we're in a tavern now. This is a senior police. He's a brigadier. You ask him a question. He proffers an answer. Give him a chance to answer. If he is wrong, you can argue that later. But now you're stopping him from speaking. And then you're, you're speaking at cross purposes. Because he says the standing orders don't prescribe that form. And you are saying the South African police services prescribe that form. So. Maybe if you produce the law, both of you, not even both of you, because he says there is no standing order which says. Am my quoting you correct, sir? Yes, I'm saying, my lord, there's no standing order that says this is the only prescribed form for taking a warning statement, and and there is there is uh, there is an authority that speaks to that, my lord. My lord, I okay. apologize no, no, for, continue, continue. for interjecting the witness, my lord, but the witness brigadier, as a senior member of the police. He must understand that he is supposed to answer the question that has been put to him and stop. I have asked him, my lord, to read paragraph B. Instead of reading, instead of complying with the instruction, he's coming with explanations which, which have not been invited or asked by myself, who is a cross-examiner in these proceedings. My lord, my understanding, I'm here to assist the court, not to allow an insinuation that I can see it's misleading. All I said is that it is incorrect to say this is the only form prescribed by the ACPS. There are many forms. There's no specific form that says this is the only form for the warning statement. And I felt that must be made clear in the court. It was not meant to undermine or stop the uh, cancer because it didn't come. From my understanding, I understood cancer to be saying this is the form ACP has prescribed for the warning statement, and I wanted to correct it, that that is not correct. Okay. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay, can you comply with my instructions now? Read paragraph B. The member who conducts the interview with the suspect has to complete this form fully in the presence of the suspect. Umuntu ipoesa elienza the interview lab was a corner um solo in me bozo guamele actually say if for muleli el kazwana um solo a call if there is not enough space for any on any of the pages the member 
must continue on a separate follow, follow page. This follow must be, um, must be signed by the member, suspect, interpreter, and the commissioner of oath and must be attached to the statement. Umay ngabe is kala lapo asene langa umundu angasebenzi sa elinye ipeji egwa mele disainwe iwongu mundu ozabe eko na lapo umsolwa ipoisa utoligi nalo ozabe ekofiza istef. Yes, paragraph D. The commissioner of oath must sign on every page of the statement. Lo okifiza istembe kwa mele asaine wonke ama page. Paragraph F. If the suspect is a child. Paragraph F. Paragraph F. All, all deletions must be initiated by the suspect, the interpreter, and the member who conducted the interview with the suspect as well as the commissioner of oath. Konke la gusulwa kona kwa mele gusai indwe no magwenzu ama initials ila bantu bonke abakona la. And you also read paragraph one, the names of all persons present. The names of all persons present during the interview must be recorded. Um, this includes all members present, the parent of the child, or a legal practitioner. Makamo abo bonke la bantu abako na umainga beku kulunyango mduana kwa mele apalwe na makamo abazali. I will pause here for now and then ask you to read paragraph 6. Um, paragraph 6 must be, delete, must be deleted if no questions are put to the suspect. If the suspect indicates that he or she is not willing to answer any questions, this refusal must be recorded. Um, in the space below paragraph 6, the suspect may thereafter not be questioned further. Any reason given by the suspect for the refusal to answer questions must also be recorded. Okay. If, should I proceed? Sorry. Umayngabe umsolwa yena ati agazmiselanga ugutubega na loko kwa melu kupalwe uguti ute agazmiselanga ugutubega. Umayngabe upana ngezi zaatu na zo kwa mele zipalwe lezo zaatu uguti ngani it's fine with paragraph A, B, and C. And then let's go above to paragraph 5A, if the suspect is willing to make a statement. But not willing to make it, okay. If the suspect is willing to make a statement, but not willing to make the statement to the member, the suspect may personally see to the throwing up of a statement or make a statement to a magistrate or justice of the peace. Umayngabe umsolwa engazimisela ngokwenza i-statement kuyiphoyisa lo msolwa loyo angahle yena ngokwakhe azibhalele sona leso statement noma angasenza phambi kwamanje. B of the same paragraph, paragraph 5. If neither of these choices are acceptable to the suspect and he or she has another proposal, it should be recorded as E. Umay ngabe lezi zinto ezi palwe la aziko mtaombe umsolo wa utie na agaz misela ngutangayenza no mayini ela payana kwa mele kupado utie na aje uti ufisa uti lezi statement kwenzu wenja ngazu. Okay. Thank you for now. Uh, those are the paragraphs that I wanted you to read into the record. Let's now go to the transcript, my lord, of uh, the 28th of November, 2023. It's the examination in chief during trial within a trial of the witness. I have asked the state to make a copy available to the witness. Yes, I have the copy, my lord. Okay. Then, page nine of the same transcript, line number 17. I'll read it into the record so that we, we can be fast. Okay. This was your response. My Lord, yes, so thereafter I have put to him that I have a reason to believe that he was involved in the killing 
Senzo Meiwa. His respond, my Lord, Tata mounted to a confession. I see that, my Lord. And then, I think I also <coughs> asked this question yesterday, but now I'm asking in respect of what you said in your examination in chief, that what was said by the accused Tata mounted to a confession. What is it that was said by the accused which Tata mounted to a confession? Because I say, I think this is your interpretation to say, my Lord, what the accused said Tata mounted. So I want to see it clearly. What is it that was said by accused at that time? To refer to you, are you aware of a... Sorry, Rose. It's the biggest. No, but I want to say to you, are you aware of the fact that when you are asking this witness to repeat what your client has said, then that evidence could possibly be applicable in this court determining the admissibility or otherwise of the confession. Thank you, my Lord. Can I, can, can I just rephrase the question? Brigadier, is, it is correct that the accused responded when you're speaking to him in respect of this passage which I've referred you to. That is correct, my lord. Was that recorded anywhere in this form or in any document? Was it recorded? Uh, well, let's start with your form, my lord. I, I think I've explained that the form was not present at that time. It okay. was an interview, and the interview I had with him was summarized. Uh, in the in the diary, it was a diary. Council knows it. You summarize basically the events. It's not like writing a statement, but in statements, um, if the question then goes further, is it documented anywhere? Yes, in the statement, in statement, various statements it appears in the investigation diaries. I even report to Mr. Mumalo, one seven eight, one seven nine, one eighty. It, it appears, but the form um, because that's the start of the question. This form, as I said, is not a prescribed form, and I was not taking a warning statement. It was an interview. No, it was not completed. Lento ai kulumele iye ya palwa na gule form leana utika ai palwa anga. Okay, and then let's go further on the same page wherein you say I then ask him obviously after the discussion, my lord, as to whether he will be willing freely and voluntarily to make such a statement to an independent officer. How did the accused become aware of the independent officer that we are referring to? Because I asked him, I told him, I asked him, as, as, as it says here, my lord, I asked him that will he be, exactly as it says, I then asked him, obviously, after the discussion, my lord, as to whether he'll be willing freely and voluntarily to make such a statement to an independent officer. That's exactly how it was, because I was aware that he's making a confession, and such confession, in my view, was being made freely and voluntarily. Now, as for best, uh, best practice rule, my lord, I prefer that an independent officer should be the one taking it. So I wanted to establish from him if he'd be willing to do that, and the answer was yes. And, and also... Umso Lomanje was a ganja ni Gallo Mundo Omunia Osme, the Logo that the Umbus and Aye Uguti, Uzmisel Uguti and Ayoko Luga, Umundo Osme, the Onge Cola, Uti Uprikati, Ringa Lendela, Gikas and Akon Uguti, Itamaiko Kuluma, Nambu Zage Uguti, Uzmisel Uguti, Lento Jelayo, Unayo Echela Omunu Mundo Osme, the Onge Cola Pagatu, Ula Manga de Lawati. In other words, what I said, in other words, my Lord, what he told me, I knew that it has to be documented so that it becomes some form of evidence that we can use. And the best practice that one thought of at the time was to have such evidence documented by an independent officer. So that is how this issue of an independent person comes in, my Lord. 
ngoba lento lebe kade ayisho ngiye ngabona ukuthi kwamele ibhalwe ngahle isetshenziswe njengobufakazi ingakho ngiye ngathi uzafuna ukuthi kutholakale umuntu ozimele ongekho la kule ngxoxo yethu and also during that interview that conversation that you are just referring to was also not recorded that you have explained to the accused about this issue of independent office it was not recorded during that interview it but was oral you know but i got it where my lord helps the question to, to be specific because i said i've summarized my interaction with the accused in my, di in my diary subsequent to that there were statements under oath that i've made some i had to read here at, at the request of mr Gomez, the investigation diary so it depends if the question is to say they are not rec recorded on the warning statement that council referred me to the answer is yes because i didn't use the warning statement but to say they are not recorded they are recorded in various cases Mandelezi ndolezi ozu kulumaya aguko la zipalwe kona utu prikatiri zigu kona la ngipale kona na ngoko nginga pala ngagule nwatile eyo pala itatme ngoba mina ngienga pala nga mafupi kwe diariam futi ngienze ne itatment la ngifunge kona uguti lento engi isho yogu ikeniso eye zinto ele, ele, ele zinto eze nzage in your diary, if you are referring to the diary, that this right was explained to the accused that he can be taken to an independent person. I've gone through your diary. If maybe you can assist me, if there is a line I skipped, which says the yeah. accused was appraised of the right that he can be taken to an independent person. I'm talking about the independent person here. Yes. Yeah, my lord, it might, it might not have come up as independent. As I said, it's a diary. But it is specific that I contacted an Mboto. I even mentioned his number and specifically mentioned on the diary that he, thought he was to assist with a statement. It's the same entry when it comes to Lieutenant Kelly Rapado. One is to take into account the space I was working, with, uh, I was working on and cancel every cope of my diary. But the mentioning of the independent officers I mentioned there including their contact details to show that this was done. The issues of rights being given to the accused are also mentioned. But of course, because it's a diary, you can't, it's not like making a statement like I'm saying. The space is congested. So you sum up, but independent person is there. The contact number of that person is there. The issues of rights is there. It is clear that it was an arrangement for the conversion. Utige umeli lenda bale yomuntu ozimele petelezi independent person. I la ipalwe khona la ku diary yakho ngibu kile diary yakho uma iphendula ubrigad yothi yebo ngoba la ku diary ngangade ngibhala ngamafupi izinto ezikhulunyiwe futhi ngibhalile nokuthi uzoyisiwa nangu ukuphoyisa LTZ ngabhala nama number wakhe ngoba ngangade ngisonga la ku diary akusho ukuthi bengibhala yonke into ngoba space se diary Let's move further to page 12 of the same transcript. Line number 12 to 18, can you read it into the record? Um, my Lord, can I ask Cancel to assist me reading that? So that helps for the sake. If you don't mind, Cancel. This is your evidence. Can you read it for the Which 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 part? That's what I'm referring to. Page twelve. Yes. Line number twelve, where in it says, Mr. Kininda, mm. my lord, they handed the suspect, accused one to me. Yes. Yes, that one. And I asked him if he was fine or if he had any complaint. He said he was fine, my lord. And there was no complaint from him. I further asked him, my lord, if he will be still be willing. To point out, um, to point out the following day, I was very specific. A witch doctor that came up in our discussion, and the answer was yes. He is willing to do to do that freely and voluntarily, my lord. Okay. Ngienga mbuza ge uma ele twagimi umsolo uguti yena uluni lena watiebo agana so iskala zo futi ngambuza. Uguti usas miselena uguti sasa wakona angate akombe inyanga lebe skate sukumangayo yena watiebo. 
I understood on the previous on the previous questions regarding an independent person, you said that was not specifically recorded in the diary. But then now I'm moving further down to the stage wherein the accused now was indicating that he wants to do the pointing out. Is, was that also recorded during the interview or not? My Lord, perhaps maybe I should read the end of the paper yes. so the council can understand when I say you summarize. Um, and I've made this copy available. For example, on the issues of the data, that is regard to accused number one. On one page, you have 30 and 31, on one page. So the columns are very small, my Lord. There is no way you can document a diary as if you're writing a statement. You sum up the context. Then you go to, for example, the investigation. And then, of course, in the statement, you will go into details. What, for example, my Lord, uh, uh, the date of, 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 of May it says, first it refers to the case number, then it indicates that I got a report from Captain Yenze, Sergeant Mukola, that the suspect, Moses Sibia, has been arrested for the case of drug dealing possession of uh, unlicensed uh, um, uh, uh, ammunition. I went to interview the suspect at Phosphorus. Sorry, sorry, my apologies, my Lord, for, for, for intervening. I have not asked you, Brigadier, to read the content of the 31st May right. uh, 2020, what we have re written. <coughs> I have been specifically asking you if this right, which was elected by the accused, I'm very particular, it was recorded that he has now elected to make a pointing out. In other words, I'm asking a recording in respect of the pointing out, not the whole recording that you made on that particular day. But my Lord, that's exactly where I was going, because if you read further, because what transpired on the day first started on the 30th, and then if you go further with this statement, it indicates that he was warned according to his constitutional rights. That's exactly where it goes. It flows from there. Then on the 31st, the day in question, that's where it indicates the issues of the witch doctor. But the starting point starts on the 31st. So the person is warned on the 31st, then it's, on, it's an, an ongoing on process. So you can't just jump on it to the 31st. It starts here on the 30th. I was not with the accused on the 31st. I was with him on the 30th. I interviewed him. I gave him, I gave him his constitutional rights as described by the constitution, and then things started flowing. Manje ke umeli ubega te eti uprigadi anga fundi lezinto azbali lengoba ufunu kaze lanje uguti nalenda bale ye uguti ufuna ubiyo komba uye wataz selwa na malungelo uti uprigadi ribeng funda ngiti ufunu kuboni sabo na loko uguti uma uso uye tanga loko ngikbali le gula iguti na kona gula uye guya kazo wage uguti umanga lelwa uye wache wage ama lungelo wake nga pamgo uguti ayenze loja komba Okay, but Brigadier, whether it's overlapping from the 30th to the 31st, I'm just being specific to the time when the interview was done regarding the pointing out, wherein he indicated that he wanted to do the pointing out. But my lord, that's not how confessions are done. I think I think that's the point I'm trying to get you to answer. It's when fine. you interview, sorry, Kansel, when you interview a person and you establish, for example, you want to establish, I was not taking a formal confession. Kenneth Mboto is the one who would have documented what he did. Mm -hmm. I interviewed him to establish whether he is not under threat, he wants to speak to me freely and voluntarily and without any undue influence. When I was satisfied with that, is to refer him. There is no prescribed rule that says, I've never seen it, that when you interview a person before you refer him to an independent officer, you must document everything. Then I'm taking the confession, my lord. Then I might as well set with a form, recorded each and every answer, and that document would have, would have amounted to me taking the confession, because that was the essence. But for the best practice rule, you refer to someone, so that that evidence at least has some credibility, because okay. I was seized with this matter. My taking of the confession could have been viewed uh, differently, no okay. matter how, how objective it was. That's how it's done, my lord. I've never seen a situation where, because that's what I'm getting from Hansel, that I was supposed to sit with a form <coughs> or a piece of paper and say, I'm giving him this right and I'm documenting it here. I'm giving him this right, then I'm taking the confession. Okay. Precisely what I was trying to avoid by appointing or requesting an independent officer. <laughs> 
indlela ekuthi usebenze ngayo uthi ke yena wayekade ebuza imibuzo ukubona ukuthi umsolo uzimisele ukukhuluma futhi akaphoqwanga futhi aka 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 akashawanga noma akunanto ekuthi imenze ukuthi agcineseka azimisela ukukhuluma yena wayekade engaphali phansi ngoba ubekade engathathi leso statement ingakho egcinese ukuthi ufuna umuntu uwesithathu ukuthi kube uyena ozothatha leso statement yena ubekade ehlola nje ukuthi umsolwa akuso ukuthi uphoqiwe noma ushayiwe ukuze azoyenza lesi statement very good brigadier thank you for that explanation so it was not recorded because it's not the best practice rule that it must be done like that thank you no 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 at least i'm saying when i say recording i'm saying i did not take the formal confession okay. statement okay because okay. what you're asking me to say i should have said do you understand your right to remain silent and i document it in my view and my understanding then it means i would have had to start completing a confession statement and precisely for the best critics rule i did not want to do that because i was seized with this matter i wanted someone independent provided of course the accused was willing to to do the film voluntarily and that's the impression i got and hence i referred him to kenneth mbotto thank you i heard you loud and clear manje ke ubrigadi uthi yena akazanya abhale phansi njengoba bekabuza imibuzo ngoba bekuzogcina kuba ingathi yena manje uyena othatha le sia statement esifuna kwenzwa umsolwa yena ingakho agcinese ukuthi ube kade emnikela komunye umuntu wesikhathi Brigadier, if I follow your examination in chief in this transcript and from the pages that I've referred to you, uh, this interview between yourself and accused number two, accused number one, where he indicated that he wanted to make a pointing out, happened in the middle of the night when he was taken back from Kenan Boto. Am I correct? No. He was, he was taken back from Colonel Boto mm. back to your office. Correct. Yes. Am I correct? Yeah, but you're not correct to say the interview. As I said, the interview started earlier. When he was brought back, it was simply to establish if he was fine because he was coming from Colonel Boto and the answer was yes. And to establish, after warning him, if he was still wanting to assist with the, or rather do the pointing out of the witch doctor. When the answer was affirmative, then that's when I referred him that uh, Sergeant Mokula will talk to him tomorrow, but if he should change his mind or want to consult, then he can inform him. So, so, so what happened when he came back from Kenyan Bottom was a follow-up of what was discussed earlier before he went to Kenyan Bottom. Manje, you wait that this is a good thing. I'm going to talk to you about the people who are talking about Kenyan Bottom. I'm going to talk to you about the people who are talking about Kenyan Bottom. I'm going to talk to you about the people who are talking about Kenyan Bottom. Ingako genye nga mchela uguti uzo isi wage ku sache no mkona uguze akubege. Na kona nga mtebisi ugutu mainga abe kisasa kwa kona uma unga safu uni ukubega unga asho besi ingizo tuona leo mpengu dole. Ok. Let me try not to confuse you brigadier. I'll take you a little bit back to paragraph, to the same page, line number two. So that maybe you can recall. Number two, you testified in your examination in chief on the same page that so then after a few minutes, suppose maybe 10 to 15 minutes, they then arrived back. This is now Constable Munareng with this member as well as with accused number one, my lord. So it means the accused is taken back to you. That's, that's what I said, my lord. Yes. That's yes. what I said, Edie. Gishonjalo uguti umsolo wa uye waletwa ebu iswa gimi ebu iswa umunareng na mune lobega sebenzana. So what you are referring to in pages 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 happened, transpired when the suspect was brought back to you after the statement had been taken from Kenyan board. My lord, as I'm saying. The conversation of the witch doctor started earlier. The discussions when he was brought back, I think after midnight, was very short. It was, as I said, and, I, and I'm repeating it again, my lord, it was established, it was established if he was fine, 
which that the answer was affirmative, and whether he would still be willing to carry on with the pointing out of the wish doctor the following day. It was not the start of the conversation. It was already discussed earlier before he went to Kenya Bojo. Ingoko Yenyanga, I Kalanga, Uma Segabuya, who can el mot, Bessis, Kudumi, Lengayo, Papango, who tie a who can el mot, Yoguti, Utu Funu, your comba, Lenyanga, Leyan, Uma Buya, Beng Safunu, and the Iskrim Sego, so good Usas Missel and Na, Uguti, Ayo comba, Leyanga, Lebega Pumanga, and the Pango, who tie a who can el mot. Okay, let's move further to page thirty of the same transcript, page, line number 21 to 24. Page, uh, page 13. Page 13, yes, page 13. Yeah, but my page 13 ends at uh, paragraph 20. My page 13 ends at 20. Yeah, that's line 20, which says, was like, you know. That's line 20. Line number 21, line 22, 23, 24, 25. The last line is the one which says, Mr. Baloyo, what time did you part ways with him? Um, Okay, but Councilor, what I'm saying is in, in the transcript that I have, I, I only have paragraph 20. I don't have 21. Is that, is, is that what you want me to read? I don't have paragraph 21 yet. It's line. It's the line. Line 20. 20. Okay. It's so the should line I read 20. from line 20? That yes. Was. Okay, Sorry was, about this. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. It's fine, Councilor. So was line... I meant paragraph 20, line number 20. I understand. It's yes. Was like you know when you want or when something has been taken off. Okay, the sorry. Can, can you start? Sorry to disturb. Can you start a bit to line number nineteen where he says he was looking better than when he was like, just to complete the sentence. Line nineteen, just above twenty. He was looking better than when he was like you know when. You want when you want or when something has been taken off your shoulders, but other than that, my lord, there was no sign of fear, concern, or threats that I detected when I observed him, and I also did not see any visible injuries when I was talking to him, my lord. Okay. Kotoa beki ni namba u noma izimba u zoguti u begate etugi le noma enga enga nelisegaanga. And you also checked him if he had any visible injuries. Am I correct? He, well, not physically. If I observing, yes, I did. I did observe, but I did not. If, if the question is to say I checked him, like I physically examined him, no, but I didn't see any visible injuries. Oye wa mshola na noguti ubegate elimele uti ugu mshola minugu mtinda angzange kodwa ngugu mbona ngenga mbonu guti abuko na yuguti ulimele ko. Okay. According to your knowledge, uh, Brigadier, as the lead investigator, was the accused taken to the district surgeon before and after the statement to Colonel Mboto was taken. No, he wasn't. Umsolwa, uye wa isi wa na buto gotela norma inyanga eyo mshola nga pamgo guti aye bukenel mboto na nyemba kogutabu ye bukenel mboto tika agazanya aisi. Do you see that if the accused was taken to a district surgeon, the doctor would have been a neutral person to examine accused number one and to complain and to confirm if there were any con complaint of assault made by accused number one. The doctor meaning that by neutrality, I mean he was not part of the police if he was taken to the doctor. The doctor would have recorded the J88, record if there were any injuries visible or old, and also any complaint that was made. Yes, my lord. So, I think one needs to look at the requirements of making a confession, and that it must be made freely, voluntarily, without any undue influence. Nowhere does it say a person must be taken to a district session as a requirement. Now, I know other police officers, perhaps they, they want to do that practice, 
it varies from person to person. Others <coughs> may even want to take photos during the admission. But insofar as the requirement, you need to satisfy yourself that the person before you is willing to make this confession freely, voluntarily, without any undue influence, and he understands his constitutional rights. I was satisfied with that, my Lord, when I referred him to Conan Bottom. I do not think there's a provision that says he must be taken to a medical doctor before the confession is taken. I'm not <laughs> Umundo nga pamungo guti ayo yenza leso statement wa mele ayisiwe gudogotela ayo mtola bese na nyemba mungo guti ayis, ayis asenze statement bese uyabuise la gudogotela uguti yyo mtola. Abanye baye baye nzi loko godwa mina ngo kwa mingi yenga mpega ngambo nugutu msolo ayena waigate enye nazu imba uzo glimala na ye gambuza wati aga limala nga aga shawanga kodwa abanye bayani baya kwenza lokho akusuku ukuthi kwamele kwenziwe ukuya ngomthetho and my lord i believe the officers who were involved um, beside the magistrate who were involved in the taking of these confessions are senior officers my lord if they detected um, assault or anything i really really doubt um, and do not believe that they would have proceeded with this uh, with this with the taking down of these confessions because that would have been the case with me if I picked up that he was assaulted or he gave me any indication that he was threatened, there is no way I would have said, go and see the doctor and then go and do the confession because that would, have, would not have been um, made freely voluntary. That would have been the end of it except the reporting of the case and obvious steps being taken against the perpetrators. Futi yengya tembu guti nala mapuwa isalawa atate lezi datment zabasolo Abantu eguti bona bango kwe peches kwe seni puti bakulu na se msebenzi nwabo. Aksi bona bantu abegate bengati uma umsolo abembona uguti ushaiwe noma utuselwe banga kubega batate lezo itadment. Nyatebu uguti nami njengwa banyenga mbona uguti lomundu agashawanga agatuselwanga njenga ati akukutewe. Yinga hako nabo njatabangu uguti nabo bakubege njenga yuguti umabembona babone ukuthi akathuselwanga futhi akashawanga ingakho baye baqhubeka okay so in other words there was no need of taking the accused to the district sergeant because the statement was made to a senior officer no but that's not what i said my lord oh. I, I, I think i think the last part council is referring to is the last part of my my testimony i started with the requirements of making a confession and articulated what is it that I understand to be the requirement. And that is a statement must be made freely, voluntarily, without any undue influence. I'm repeating it, I don't know many times with due respect, my lord. And I said, accused must be also be aware of his particular rights. Accused one and two, when I interviewed them, they were aware of these rights. And the impression I got, they were willing to make these statements freely and voluntarily, my lord. And I said, which is also a repetition, there is no rule that says a medical doctor, accused must be taken to a medical doctor for examination <coughs> before the requirements of taking a, a confession are met. I'm not aware of that, my lord. Unyezwe ga se meli mina angiti umsolwa ui agaiswanga winyanga yes lungu petelezi i medical doctor ngoba waegate e kuluma we poisa eli page me ngom sebenzwa. Me nangiti. Agai swanga ngoba ang gibonanga impa u ogokana umangi kulma nae nanoma ebuya angis bonanga impa uzo guti uli mele noma utu se lwe. Okay. Thank you, Brigadier, for that response. Let's move further to page twenty-four of the same transcript. Page twenty-four. Yes, my lord, I'm there. Yes, it's uh, it starts from line from line number twenty one, but I want to refer you to line number twenty five. Maybe you can just read the whole paragraph, which says, Mister Kiminda, Kininda, then my lord, on the fourth. On the fourth of June, twenty twenty, I approached the accused. I mean, I approached, I approached the accused one in Valeria, who warned him according to his constitutional rights and established if he was still willing to do the formal pointing out of the crime scene. The answer was yes, and he also indicated that he <coughs> did not need an attorney as well, my lord. Yes. 
mena genga lelo langa ngienga kuluma nomsolo angambuzu kutusa zmisele na uyo komba inda wanda wenza gele ise lagado yena wati yebo futi agafuni umeli this was also not recorded that he elected not to appoint a legal representative um, recorded where my lord because I've said it's documented in my statement there's a summary of the events on the 4th because on the 4th on the 4th the diary which I made available to to, 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 to to defense has a summary I did indicate this is a diary but in statements and various statements that we disclosed to the defense my lady, it's, it's indicated it, it is I mean it's, in, it's indicated today it's only this form the warning statement that was not used Nagologofuti Gule sia statement, esibizwa i warning statement, gula i kuti agupogu, aangzanyi ni sebenzis. Thank you. Let's go down further on the same page, page 25, line number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It goes up to uh, the following page, 26, line number 1, 2, and 3. My Lord, after, so it reads as follows, my Lord. It says, my Lord, after getting the confirmation that he still wants to proceed freely and voluntarily, I then made a few calls until I got to Lieutenant Colonel Hadebe, who was prepared to assist with the pointing out. My Lord, Lieutenant Colonel Hadebe said he can assist um, the following day, which is the 5th of June, 2020, and he requested that accused one should be detained at Alberton SAPS, where he will then make arrangements to book him out and carry on with the formal pointing out. Gemba, should I carry on? The last no, it, oh. it's fine. It's fine with that. With that name. Gemba, go go to send Kulume na ye umsolo aye. Gemba, go go to sega sega shilo go to yebo ya funu kubega. Genga shaya uti ingonga fun gifuna na na ba ntunga tena send tole ulu kenend. Kenel Hatebe, Oye Wati and Uzmi Selugutanga Caesar, but were Uzo Caesar and Yelanga Elande Lelayo, Yenawa Kubega Watela, Uguti Umsolo Wakala, Abewe Espoi Senesas Albertin, Ula Uguti and Uzoza, Azomlanda Konala. Brigadier, at what time did you make this call? If you can recall, if you can't recall, just. Ah. Uh, I think I think it would have been during the day, my lord. I, I can't really be precise with the time, but okay. I know that it would have been during the day. Lolia Tingo will shy and go ban his cart, Uti Nango Konya and Kumbule is cart, got up, Yakabang would be cut the same meaning. Were there any persons that you were with when you were making this call to Kenneth Hardeby? No, I don't, I don't recall, my lord. What I know is that I spoke to him because I even documented the cell number he was using that time in 2020 where I reached him. Beguna Bantuna, Abogate Unabo, Ngaleskati Ushaya Lolo Tingo Uti and Kumbuli Loko Godwa, Gil Palile, Inomboya Kio Tingo, Lebegate A seven sa Galo Nyaga twenty twenty. And we have no records of the conversation between yourself and Kenel Hadebe when you were requesting him to make the pointing out. Uh, what type of recordings my lord? Pepsi cancer can terrify. Uh, it, it's recorded. I have it in my diary and it's, it's recorded in statements to say there was such a discussion. I'm not sure what what, what more Kansel is asking me, my lord. I, I think you were using telephone. Am I correct? Yes, I was, my lord. Utige sine record laiguti when I woke at the Ukuluma Nabo, Labo Bantu, Uyabuza, Uprikati, Uguti, Mzambe, Mongan, Katsela. Ukulmanga yipi record uti umeli Gogate useven zisa uti ngwangisho uti ye Yes, then I'm referring to that conversation, eh, Brigadier I think you'll understand better because you are the investigating officer I'm referring to that conversation that was made between one 
handset to another handset that we do not have the content of the conversation. What was said by you to Kenneth Hardy? No, we, well, we don't have it in the docket, Mario, but I'm not aware of a requirement that such conversations must be made. Because you must, you must talk five of those things. You apply. I'm not, I'm not aware that that was supposed to be now requested. And in any event, my lord, what we're going to have is actually um, the linkages that shows that there was a call from my phone to the to Lieutenant Kader. The actual recording, it's another dilemma. It's, it's actually interception, monitoring. So I'm not sure how was I going to get the exact weight unless, unless both our phones are intercepted. Um, but, but there are regulations to do that. So it's not something you can just take and put on the docket. You, you apply, they are regulated, and they, they are people's rights. I mean, I didn't ask Kenneth Khadeve to violate his rights in this instance. I was only asking him to assist if he can with the pointing out, not to infringe his rights to privacy. And I was not aware that I was supposed now to go to his records and draw that communication and intercept his phone, my lord. I'm, I'm not aware of that, really, with greatest respect. To Melige, as in a loge, no, no, Leon Kulumo, a Nibena, your way, not no channel had debe, Goba, a ye cola, you put his yes, I use a corner, no, my such a long ayo, Uti, Ubrigadi, Mina, Loco, and was you, which Umanga, Utina, irrecord, and Jalo, Quamelo, Ufage, is trade, Uti, Uzotina, irrecord, and Jago, Anzang, and Benas, or less of Colonel Forty Bengazi. Uguti uzo dinge uguti gube na leo record yem kulumo yam na ye ngoba minangazo uguti amalunge lo wakhe uguti muntu une lunge lo uguti maga kulume na no munyu muntu bese uguti ina kona lapo benga zanga uguti bewa melege gitonze i record leyo njope njope nya uguti sikole i record ya leo kulumo my Lord, can I ask for the short break? The heat is unbearable where I'm standing, my Lord. Just a short break. Just to breathe out. What time is it? Six minutes past twelve. Okay, let's come back at half past twelve. Thank you.